Hey guys and welcome to my new video. My name is Jimmy and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can create these pretty cool video banners or titles in Adobe After Effects. Now these are pretty much the ones that you see on the screen now and they can be used to introduce the video or they can just be used for annotations. Whatever you choose to use them as, I think they add a pretty cool professional feel to your videos. Now let's get started. Now I'm going to be using Adobe After Effects CS5 for this tutorial, however it is easily translatable into similar versions. So let's get started. We're going to go up to composition and create a new composition. Now we're going to call this just banner tutorial or you can call it whatever you want to. Okay, so now we need to choose our resolution. For me, 1280 by 720 will be fine for this tutorial. However, if there is a chance you will be uploading bigger videos such as 1080p, then I recommend changing that to 1920 by 1080. And that way you can always just downsize whenever you don't need that extra resolution. Okay, so now that we've done that, square pixels, 29.97 frames per second and 15 seconds should be fine. So now that we've done that, just click OK. Now what we're going to do is go up to Layer, New Solid, and create a temporary background. And for this I'm just going to choose a bit of a light grey or a mid grey colour, and we'll just rename this to background so we know what it is. Okay, so now that we've done that we can start actually constructing our banner. So again we're going to go up to Layer, New Solid, this time we're just going to call this layer something like Banner, or Banner 1, make comp size, and then choose something like black for the colour. Now this can be whatever colour you want. Uh, you can get as creative with this as you want. I'm just showing you the techniques behind it and not a final product. And that's just so everyone who follows this doesn't come out with the exact same thing at the end. So now that we've done that, what we can go ahead and do is just bring down our layer here by dragging the points into the center. Now this is pretty much how wide it's going to be, so this is totally up to you. That's looking pretty good for me, and let's move on. Now you can see in my actual banners they had a kind of white outline around it. Now to do this we're just going to duplicate this. We can choose our duplicated layer, go up to layer, solid settings, and just call this banner 2, and drag this below it. Now what we can do is again go up to solid settings, sorry, and just create this whatever color we want our outline. So I'll just choose pretty much a really light gray to a white color. Then we can just drag these points and you can see we've got that white outline happening. Now in my banner what I did was I made the center a bit transparent, so to do this select your top one, Press T to bring up your opacity slider and then just drag it down a little bit like that. But now you can see we've got that white color behind and if we enable our transparency by clicking this button here and disabling our temporary background, you can see it's not see-through. Now to fix this little problem, we can select our second banner layer which is our outline, go up to our rectangle tool up here and pretty much just mask this section out. And you'll see what's going to happen in just a moment. So just cover the whole width here. Then in our mask properties down here, change add to subtract. And now that we've done that, we can see that the middle is a bit transparent. And then we can fine tune this a little bit if it's not quite lining up. So there should be fine. Okay, that is pretty good right there. And then one final thing I did for mine was go into our effects and presets up here, type drop shadow and then pretty much drag our drop shadow onto our second banner here and change our opacity up to 100%, our softness up a little bit and then our distance then we can change our direction to 180 degrees so it's straight down and then we'll bring our opacity down again, sorry and there we go, we've got a nice little drop shadow under it okay so now that we've done that we can add our text so grab our text tool up here and pretty much just type whatever you want. So I'll just type infuse media for mine. And then you can go ahead and choose a suitable font and scale it up. So for me, I'm just going to use something like Century Gothic and turn on the all caps switch here. And that's looking pretty good right there. Now to make sure it's perfectly centered, we can either press our inverted comma key or go down to here and enable our title action safe and then perfectly center it that way. So that's looking pretty good right there. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we can do is animate it in. Now to make things a little easier for ourselves, what we can do is highlight all of our three layers here, go up to Layer, Pre-Compose. Now we can call this Banner 1 or Main Banner, again, totally up to you. And then enable our 3D switch on the layer. Now once we've done that, what we can do is press R to bring up our rotation options, and you can see if we play around with these, we can rotate this however we want. So for my animation in, what I did, was keyframed the orientation, 
moved that about a second forward and then moved this up so you can't see it like so and about 90 degrees sorry and then what we get is this effect here now you can see that it's cutting off the edge here and an easy fix is just grabbing our corners and extending that a little bit and there we go now i also added a bit more of an animation so it bounced at the end and came back however that is pretty much it behind it then we can highlight our keyframes go keyframe assistant and easy ease and you'll see it gradually comes down now the same applies for the ones that pop in from the side and like i said get creative don't just copy directly from the tutorial otherwise you're going to have a similar banner to whoever else follows it so thank you very much for watching i hope this helped if it did be sure to hit that like button to help my channel grow consider subscribing and checking out my other tutorials so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye